Hi guys, this is Mohammed, and I'm doing a tutorial to create isolated networks on Virtual Machine Manager. Um, uh, I know that uh, VirtualBox is the most frequently used uh, uh, virtual uh, virtual client, VM client, but uh, I'm doing this because um, this one is most commonly used, at least in my college, and uh, people were struggling to create isolated network. So I thought um, I'll just make a, a tutorial out of it so it's easier uh, so you can follow along the video. So I have these three VMs here. Um, first I'll have to create another network connection. Um, so I'll just go here edit connections. This one here gives you internet access. It's already there. right? So I'll create another one which will be the isolated network can name it uh, whatever isolated right and now you'll have to decide here like w what kind of like where d does your network begin and end subnet mask and everything so I can probably do here one or you can do whatever 12 right so it's um, here you can say enable DHCP and uh, your VMs will automatically get an IP address when they start or you can disable them. Um, I would disable them because I'll probably be SSHing them in the future. So you can uh, disable it here and then set the static IP addresses. Okay, isolated network, right and then you click so make sure you you have this checked because if you do this then it will just be another NAT so my network here is created now what I'll have to do is is I'm gonna check my uh, the IP address that that virtual network is gonna be the gateway for so I'm gonna do IF config here and look through this IP addresses here. Right, VIRBR1 192.168.12.1. If you remember, we created this 12.0 network, so this must be the gateway. So you'll have to remember this 12.1 um, IP address when you're ass assigning these static IP addresses. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Um, might take a little bit of time to load so I'll just edit the video from here now my VMs here have turned on so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in now we'll have to set a uh, static IP address to the, the the NIC card that's attached to the isolated network so I'll go ahead system preference um, network connections I'm doing it this way because when you restart um, it will it will store this static IP address. You can change it through the IF config command, but if you restart, it will it will wipe it away. And there are other ways to do it through command prompt. If you want to do it, then you'll have to probably create a file and uh, add uh, the static IP address and uh, other information regarding the NIC. Or you can, if you have um, desktop installed, you can do it this way. So I'll just go ahead and check uh, which. NIC card is on the isolated network for that we'll have to match the MAC address so this one has 5254000C2F51 just gonna go ahead check the details this one is on isolated network so I'm gonna go back um, so this one matches it that means that this is the actual NIC card that's on the isolated network just gonna configure um, static IP address for this one. You can give it anything uh, beginning from 12.2 to till 254. Um, two because one um, is the gateway IP address that's on the host, so you cannot give it to anybody else. That's how this will communicate with the host. Um, one, that's the gateway click apply close Let's see connect it here right and then you can if you want you can double check it if it's through here you'll see it 192.168.12.2 so we have this IP address 
on the isolated network done you can do similar steps on other VMs that you have and then you have your isolated network set up um, if there are any issues concerns comments if you could not follow me along then just let me know and I'll try to help you guys out thanks